Example four, find the special product. Now, this is another type of special product. Let me simplify it down. The special product we're looking at is called a difference of squares. X plus Y times X minus Y. That's the difference of squares. And the product of a sum and difference of squares is first squared minus second squared. That's it. If you see a sum and difference of the same two objects, square the first, square the second, subtract. Reason that happens, if you foil it, first times first gets you the positive x squared, last times last gets you the negative y squared. Outside product of negative xy, inside product of positive xy cancel each other out. The opposite signs of the same objects create opposite terms for the outside and inside products. They always cancel out. So shortcut, if you see objects added, exact same objects subtracted, square first, square second, done. Okay. So now we get to this, which that looks much easier than this, right? But again, looking at this, we have this group, which is object one plus object two. The second group is same object one minus same object two. So it's the same idea, object plus object, same object minus same object. So if we apply the difference of squares idea to this, the first object is 3x minus 2y. We're supposed to square that, right? The second object is z, we're supposed to square that and make, it, make that one negative because we have the opposite signs on it. Okay. Notice the first object squared is a binomial squared like we just saw a moment ago, right? So now we apply the binomial squared idea to that. We square the first object, not x squared. We double the product. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 times 2 is negative 12 xy. We square the second object. The squares are always positive, so it's plus 4y squared minus z squared. And just like that, we have the completely simplified expression. Applying these shortcuts, binomial shortcuts for multiplication. If you have x plus y times 3x minus 5y, foil it. I mean, it just if it's not some special product, just do it like normal foil it. But again. Sum and difference of the same objects, difference of squares. A binomial to the second power, square first, double product, square second. The squares are always positive. The product is the only thing that could be negative. One negative makes a negative outcome. Okay, and we're looking for, when you're doing the special products, just an, a, a polynomial, no parentheses left in it, just simplify to the extent you can.